In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You know those signs on the road? We've all seen them. Dangerous curve ahead, or bridge freezes before road surface, warning you about something that you're going to see in the very, in your future, perhaps your very proximate future. Um, as you all know, you don't need to tell me, we are on Golgotha, the place of the skull. And I'd like all of you just for a moment to look around. Look around at it. I'm telling you this because this is Golgotha, and my brothers, as much as I love you, wish the very best for you. In your priesthood, you're going to spend some time here. You're going to spend some time on the cross. Jesus himself didn't know why he had to spend time on the cross. So I can't tell you why. Perhaps your time on the cross will be caused by yourself. Maybe you'll bring something upon yourself. Or maybe because you are doing the right thing and people will reject you, which is what Jesus himself suffered. When he was hanging on the cross here, he was isolated, abandoned. This was a man who attracted crowds, thousands of people. And at the end, only a few women and his beloved John were standing near him. But maybe that's okay. Because to get from here to the resurrection of the Holy Sepulcher, you don't need a lot of people. It's going to be lonely, it's going to be painful, but all you need is the power of God, the Spirit of God, to give you life. Pray that you might be spared this time on Golgotha, but if it does come, like Jesus himself, humbly submit to it and be confident of the victory that lays ahead. God bless you.